If the smart EHO actuator is supplied with optional ESD before operating a motor powered stroke, a customer supplied ESD signal must be present and solenoid valve energized. Ensure the lockable manual bypass valve is closed and the hand pump isolation valve is open. Using a 532 inch or 4 millimeter hex wrench, turn the valve counterclockwise for open. Once the hand pump isolation valve is fully open, turn the hex nut clockwise until tight, then use your wrench to fully tighten. Replace the cap. Put the local off remote selector switch into local mode. Use the open close selector knob to power stroke the actuator. The electric motor will start to run, driving the hydraulic pump. The hydraulic pump draws fluid from the reservoir and pushes it into the Betis G or E series hydraulic cylinder. As the actuator strokes, the spring will compress in the spring return module. If an accumulator is provided, the hydraulic pump will also start charging the accumulator. The hydraulic pump will continue to charge the accumulator till the accumulator is fully pressurized as per setting on the pressure switch. The hydraulic pump motor will stop once the accumulator is fully charged. This accumulator pressure will be used for power strokes of the actuator until the accumulator pressure drops to below the predetermined set point. The hydraulic pump motor restarts again to recharge the accumulator until it reaches the set point of the pressure switch. Note, when the actual power is connected, the hydraulic pump motor does not immediately start if the accumulator pressure is below the predetermined set point. The motor runs only after there is a command to open or close the actuator. Toggle the open close selector knob to stroke the actuator to the fail safe position. Check all hydraulic lines and fittings for leakage and repair as needed. Cycle the actuator open and close a few times to ensure operation. Toggle the open close selector knob to power stroke. While the motor is running, switch the selector knob to off. The motor and actuator will stop. When the selector knob is in the stop position, the accumulator does not charge even if it goes below the charging pressure. Set your selector switch back to local and toggle the open close selector knob to fully power stroke the actuator. Turn the selector switch to remote and toggle open close selector knob open and close to make sure the actuator does not stroke. Turn the selector switch to local. Rotate the open close selector switch to close and open positions to ensure control has returned. If the actuator successfully opens and closes, the actuator has completed the local functional test and the Betis Smart EHO actuator is now operational and ready for local service.